What's up guys? Have you ever wondered how to solder a copper pipe and just didn't know how? Well today, you're gonna find out. All right, solder a copper pipe. You need a few things. You need fitting, pipe, flux, a little brush to clean the pipe, maybe some sand cloth if you don't have the brush, and a dry rag. First thing you want to do is clean the pipe. You can do it the whole way so it sticks out the back. Ream the inside. Looks like that. What I always do is just wipe the joint. Make sure it's clean. And you'll see two different fittings here. This one is clean, this one is not. So I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go ahead and clean the fitting. Both sides. I do my fittings a little differently than some people. So what I do is take my sand cloth and clean the edge of it. And a lot of people don't do that. It takes a little more time, but you won't really have it, you won't really have a leak. See that? As opposed to that. It's a little dirtier. So next, you're gonna wanna. Here's a different fitting already done. You're gonna wanna flex it. Flex the fitting. And I always flex the pipe. All the way around. This is where your dry your dry rag comes into play. So here's our other pipe that we did a minute ago. Put that in there. Put that in there. Here's where the drag the dry rag comes in. You see all that flux down there? Wherever this flux is where the solder is gonna go. And you wanna wipe all that clean. Because if not, when you solder, it'll look like this. See how it's all running down the pipe? It's also because when it was still not completely dry, they took the flux brush and went around it. I can show you an example of that too. I'll do this one without the flux brush, and I'll do that with the flux brush. And what you want to do is heat the joint at the back on both sides, and your solder will just go all the way around it. Right. I'm going to put some heat down here, get this whole fitting, this whole fitting heated up, and solder this one, and solder that one. This one's gonna let dry naturally. This one's gonna hit it with a flux brush and you'll see the difference.
the cool for a minute and see how it turned out. You also want to take your rag and wipe the joints because if you don't, all this green on this pipe is old flux and it'll eat your pipes away and your fittings if you don't wipe it off completely. So once it's cooled a little bit, you can wipe it off so the acid and the flux doesn't eat the pipe away in the fittings. That's something else that people don't do is wipe the joints. All right, let's take it out and look at it. Let's see how it turned out. So here's the bottom down there. Up here's the bottom. See, it took it all the way around. Joint. Solid joint minus that part. This is the one up here that I hit with the flux bus. Not as clean. You can tell the difference in the color in the solder. A little gap right there. Looks like it took it for the most part. Still not as clean as this one. So, this little tip on how to solder. If you've never done it, try it out. Let me know how it goes.